Unit 5.2, Practice Problems. An experiment was conducted to determine the rate law of the reaction. We have a diatomic A plus B going to A2B. Uh, and we can see the uh, concentrations of A initially doubling. And we can see that the um, reaction rate also doubled while B was held constant. And then we can see uh, the concentration of B doubling while uh, concentration of A was held constant and we uh, also doubled our rate of reaction. So that means that we are going to be um, a uh, uh, order one reaction which means that uh, if I double the concentration of A and B, I'm going to quadruple the rate of reaction since both doubled uh, the rate of reaction when they were both doubled. In aqueous solution, the reaction represented by the balanced equation shown above has the experimentally determined rate law of um, K uh, with the concentration of the sulfur compound multiplied by the concentration of the iodine. The concentration of the sulfur compound is doubled while keeping iodine constant. So um, if I doubled this, then I am going to go ahead and um, double my reaction um, rate since K is going to be constant. So the reaction weight rate will double because the rate is proportional to the concentration of the sulfur compound. The initial rates of reaction represented in the equation above were measured for initial concentrations of uh, nitrogen monoxide and chlorine. Based off of the data given in the table above, which are the following rate law expressions for the reaction and why? So I have where I have a doubled the um, amount of chlorine present and I have doubled my um, reaction rate. And then I have where I have doubled my um, sorry, between these two, where I have doubled my um, nitrogen monoxide and kept chlorine the same, and I have more than doubled this. Um, I have, in fact, quadrupled this amount. So um, I am going to be dealing with a situation where I have uh, the concentration of nitrogen monoxide uh, not uh, being... Uh, double equals double, so that would be option B and C. Um, and I also have a situation where uh, double chlorine equals double the reaction, not that chlorine does not matter, so option choice A is going to be incorrect. Option choice D is going to be the only option that uh, represents that um, relationship because the initial rate of, uh, initial rate quadrupled when nitrogen monoxide was doubled, and it also doubled when chlorine was doubled. So that is going to be what is represented here. The rate law for the reaction for nitrogen dioxide and chlorine is found to be um, what we just found above. Uh, by what factor does the rate of the reaction change when the concentrations of both nitrogen dioxide and chlorine are doubled? So um, remember that uh, since this is a quadruple factor, and this is a double factor, so we have four and two, so four and two makes eight. So this is going to increase the rate of reaction by a factor of eight, if I doubled both concentrations. The initial um, rate data in the, in the table above were obtained for the reaction represented below, where we have nitrogen monoxide and oxygen reacting to form nitrogen dioxide then we will find the uh, rate of reaction here. So uh, looking here, I have um, my nitrogen monoxide uh, concentration doubling while I keep oxygen the same, and I double that. So I am going to go ahead and say that I should be dealing with uh, just this present, where we have a, a doubling, OK? And then um, initial concentration of 
um, oxygen quadrupled here, and I, um, let's see. So uh, eight times 10 to the third divided by five times 10 to the fourth is um, also going to, uh, so this is a uh, times four, and then this is also a times four. So this is uh, meant to, uh, or sorry, this is not uh, times four. This is uh, times four times four or times 16. So if this was times, uh, times two, this would be times four. So this is a quadrupling of our concentration of the oxygen, which means that I am going to have um, a second order um, reaction here for oxygen and a first order reaction here for um, nitrogen monoxide. So the only option choices that represent that are going to be option choice B. The table above shows the results uh, from a rate study of the reaction of X plus Y going to Z. Starting with the known concentration of X and Y in experiment one, the rate of formation of Z was measured. If the reaction was first order in respect to X, okay, and second order in respect to Y, the initial rate of formation of Z in the experiment two would be, so um, I have um, experiment two, so concentration of uh, X is going to be uh, point 0.2, and then concentration Y point 0.2 squared, um, uh, where we have, actually we don't need to, uh, Find, find the actual number, so uh, too much work there. Um, but first order reaction, we have um, half here, double here, but this is gonna be quadruple, so um, half times quadruple or um, half times four gives me two, and so I should still end up with a doubling of the um, product uh, for Z, so two R. Um, the rate of a certain chemical reaction between substances M and N obeys the rate law above. So we have first order for M and second order for N. Uh, the reaction is first studied with M and N uh, each at 1 times 10 to the negative third molar. If a new experiment was conducted with M and N each at uh, 2 times 10 to the negative third, the reaction rate would increase by a factor of. So um, this would be uh, times 2. And uh, this, uh, this is a quadrupling, so this is times four, so two times four would give me a rate of eight times that of my initial reaction. The data in the table above were obtained from the reaction of X plus Y going to Z. Which of the following is the rate law for the reaction? So when I uh, doubled my concentration of um, X and kept Y the same, I stayed the same um, rate. So that means that um, I am a zero order for X, which means that it is just not going to be included at all. So um, that makes that really easy, and I can just get rid of everything that includes X at all. Uh, but just in case you uh, wanted to make sure that this was a second order for um, Y here, um, we have a doubling here and a quadrupling here, so that does look like this is a second order reaction for uh, the concentration of Y. So B um, is doubly proven correct there. The reaction of iodine ions and arsenic acid in an acidic aqueous solution occurs according to the stoichiometry shown above. The, react, uh, the experimental reaction rate 
of the reaction is. And uh, this is the, uh, what is the order of the reaction in respect to I? So uh, when we look at what the order of the reaction is, we are looking for the exponent off of the concentration of that particular um, element. And since that exponent is not shown, but iodine is still shown, that means that we have a first order reaction present.